for gener generating the 2.9 kilohertz frequency signals right so if i take uh, the circuit diagram so ra for uh, 2.9 kilohertz is ra is we assumed as 3 kilo ohm this is 3 kilo ohm and this we assumed as 1 kilo ohm this is 0 0.1 microfarad so when we connect like this so it should generate a frequency of oscillations of 2.9 kilohertz now see this one is the circuit diagram now this is a ne triple five timer that is a serial number see there are eight terminals the con ground is connected to ground and trigger is connected to this threshold threshold on trigger is short circuit and it is connected to the capacitor as the circuit diagram and VCC is connected to the 10 volts and uh, from VCC to RA is there 3 kilo that is connected to discharge terminal and between discharge and this threshold there is a RB and this is the capacitor so if you would see this control voltage should be connected to 0 0.01 microfarad through to the ground to bypass the noise and uh, this reset terminal is connected to the plus VCC which is 10 volts right now it will generate a a uh, square wave pulse for 2.9 kilohertz frequency if we simulate see how to take the uh, command so we have to go to transient analysis stop time 2 millisecond start solving data 0 why this is 2 millisecond is we are generating a 2.9 kilohertz signal that is approximately 3 kilohertz so 1 by 3 kilohertz means 0.33 millisecond is 1 time period of signal so if, if it is 2 so it can generate 6 pulses or 3 3 to 4 pulses if you give the stop time as 5 milli it will generate more the cycles so that is why the stop time is we can uh, choose if you run this simulation and see I am seeing the output at here now see the output signal see this is the off time this is the on time off on etc if you see here this is this is off time and this is off time but this is small this is large so see if you observe this low time this low time will be same but this one is first one is not exact so that's why we need to see the or we need to take the frequency of oscillation in the later right so if you observe the highest value is 10 volts that is 0 to 10 so vcc is 10 volts we have taken and if we find from so how to find the time period so from if you take from this level to again this level this is one time period or if you take from this level to this level that is one time period so we are finding that time period see if i place a cursor here the time is 0.39 second 391 second if you note it down that is 0.391 millisecond i am starting and if i go here it will be 0.737 millisecond so if you take uh, the difference it is 6.388 millisecond so if you divide 0.388 millisecond 1 divided by 0.388 milli we will get 2. Point approximately 8 to 9 milli or uh, what you call 2 kilohertz 2.9 so we have to measure 0.389 to difference we need to take and it is generating a 2.9 kilohertz frequency signal so this is the simulation of the triple p timer as an stable multi vibrator so we can generate different different frequency of oscillations when you change this r a r b r we can change simply c 0.1 if, it's, if we have taken 0 0.01 microfarad it will generate 29 kilohertz signal if we take one microfarad it may generate 290 hertz signal only so depending on this resistance and this capacitance values you can change the frequency of oscillations